Champagne problems. Champagne problems with Allie and Georgia. 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 Wait, are you? Which one are you? Today is a really fun uh, question because it has to do with going to bars, which um, we've done a few times in our lives, a couple times. Yeah, I just turned twenty-one. It's true. Yeah. I have a fake ID, so I'm good. So, um, you guys, write us in with your questions. This is a good one. You ready for this? I like this one because it's um, it's functional and desperate. <laughs> how do you chat up the super cute bartender, and how do you tell if he's actually flirting with you, or if he's just being nice so that you'll give him a large tip? In my mind, the bartender doesn't want to go on a date with you. He's that nice to everyone, or <laughs> she's that nice to everyone. I bartended. I went on a date with a guy that I bartended How'd with. How'd that go? I don't know, I don't think he liked me. <laughs> who would be great to answer this question? <laughs> oh, you know who we should ask, actually? Who? You say it, one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. Molly, Molly Prather. Prather. Oh my god, Molly Prather! Prather. Molly Prather in okay, here. ready? Okay. Holla. If he gives you his phone number, mm. then he wants you to call him. Because he can have a pile of phone numbers behind that bar. He'll be like, leave me your phone number. And you're like, okay. Leave me your phone oh, number is yeah. never a good And then sign. like, there's like as many tips as there are phone numbers at the end of the night. But if he gives you his phone number and he's like, call me, and he answers. <laughs> What's a good like line or whatever to say to a bartender? Other than like, why don't you fill this up? But like, it's kind of, and not in a shitty way, right? Mm -hmm. But. It's a bartender's job to make everybody feel like they're at somewhere where everybody knows their name. Yeah. If he is paying too much attention to you to the point where like you can tell that the other bartender or the other barback is getting irritated that they're doing all the work, yeah. if he's not doing his job in order to talk to you, yeah. that's when you know. So, as soon as his work ethic starts to unravel in your presence, <laughs> that is a good sign. That's a good Can sign. we ask you really quickly about tipping? Absolute minimum, a dollar a drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. If there is, I think the good rule to stay on the bartender's good side, if something is thirteen fifty, just leave fifteen dollars. Leave the fifty yeah. cents. If you take those two quarters, oh, yeah, even if that. it's for laundry, it makes you seem so cheap. Oh, okay. you don't seem like because I never want to like take change and pelt it at a bartender <laughs> and be like, thanks for the drink. Because at the end of the night, all those quarters yeah. add up to so many extra. And dollars. if it's like a if you're at one of those newfangled bars where they like muddle this stuff, if you're getting a thing, I feel like if you're getting a drink over eleven dollars, uh -huh. you should leave two dollars. Two. Guest so advice much. columnist yeah. Molly Prather. Again, mollybartends.tumblr.com. It's really funny. We'll see you next time. Cheers.